that there's a new Guy Ritchie film in theaters this weekend. It's called Operation Fortune Rue de Guerre, and it stars Jason Statham, Hugh Grant, Aubrey Plaza, Josh Hartnett, Bugsy Malone, Carrie Elwes, and many more. But is it worth seeing in theaters? Operation Fortune is sexier than the typical Guy Ritchie actioner you may be used to. This story unfolds in a deliberate way that gives the characters more dimension and depth. The premise is also rather complicated and somewhat exploratory. So giving the plot time to breathe in this film allows the characters to guide us on a more exhilarating journey. Jason Statham plays Orson Fortune, a spy with an impossible mission. He and his covert team are tasked with going on a worldwide wild goose chase to track down something without knowing what that something is, who has it, who wants it, or what they plan to do with it. All they know is that whatever this something is, it's in the wrong hands. I love that. And that complicated story makes for some really hilarious content. The cast is so humorous and entertaining. Hugh Grant has never been funnier. His accent and makeup add to the comical quality he delivered in The Gentleman in 2020. Here, he's a tone deaf billionaire orchestrating an arms deal that will not only pay him handsomely, but that will also grow his charity, Orphans of War. What makes Hugh Grant's accent funny, it is a British accent, but it's the cadence in the accent. So when he delivers his dialogue, it's just funny. And he's such a bad guy. He's such an anti-hero in this film, but every moment he's on screen, he is hilarious. Now Josh Hartnett brilliantly portrays a movie star playing a decoy whose one job is to not break character, which is a struggle for him because this mission includes real guns and not props. Aubrey Plaza plays this Jessica Rabbit-esque vixenous tech genius who's the smartest one in a room full of guys without punching down and she steals every scene with her brilliant one-liners. Bugsy Malone plays an unsuspecting operative who must stay ahead of a team of rogue spies out to get what his team must find first. Statham plays a semi-retired spy with a long list of phobias who's reluctant to go on this mission because he needs a much needed vacation on the government's dime. Those quirks, though, are abandoned in exchange for action sequences, which does make his character somewhat primitive. Now, Guy Ritchie's camera work, especially the steady drone shots, make what would easily be pigeonholed as a 90s throwback movie. He makes it more current and savvy and sexy. The action sequences in the first half of the film are dialed down. There's mostly hand-to-hand -hand combat during the first half, but the big set pieces are reserved for the final act, which are explosive and perfectly crescendo to the finale. Josh Hartnett's arc is reminiscent of Nick Cage's Unbearable Weight from 2022, but Guy Ritchie's imprint and that $50 million production budget make this spy comedy wilder and distinctive. Lastly, the mid credit scene is hilarious and worth sticking around for. All in all, Operation Fortune is a good time. Now, I'm easily entertained by Guy Ritchie films, but I do think if you like throwbacks from the 90s, if you liked Unbearable Weight, if you like Guy Ritchie films, and even spy comedies, I think you'll get a kick out of this film. Operation Fortune Rudiger is in theaters now.